pretty nice if you do know what I'm talking about. It's about pirates. Yo-ho-ho-sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I got some more pirated One Piece shrimps for you. That's right, shrimps are happening over in Singapore, and I've been seeing some of them on these Facebook groups, but I haven't seen any on YouTube. And I can't get my cards until Monday, so I can't do an opening until Monday, which I will do, definitely, and you'll see these cards in all of their glory. But until then, to hold us over, I'm just pirating some shrimps from some people online because it is a pirate game, and pirating is the point. It's about pirates. If you want to see One Piece cards get opened, hit that subscription button. I will be doing live streams and case openings and lots and lots of One Piece card game content. Be sure to check it out. All right, let's get into this thing. All right, so this dude's got a bunch of packs. He's doing these pack sale things and shows each pack comes with a box stopper. He basically lays all these packs out and then he puts them out and then he shrip them and pulls things and people buy multiple packs at a time. But I went through and went through some of the kind of cooler cards I really like in this set that he pulls. I think this card's really good. This card, I love the art. I think this art's amazing. Mr. Two definitely deserves his light in the sun. What an amazing character. He puts in so much work for Luffy over the course of his adventure. Again, I'm not opening these cards. This is somebody's video on Facebook. That's Gecko Moria. I'm just pirating this thing. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this art. This is way higher quality than the last one I had. So I think it's a nice opportunity to at least kind of see what these cards look like. I got no cards in my hands, but I will soon to shrimp them. Yo, Otama is nasty. I think this card's really good. 2K counter and minus two on something. I think there's so much board removal that's so important in this game. Like if you're not pressuring your opponent's character cards, then you're putting yourself in a position where you're going to get steamrolled the next turn. So minusing something by 2000 and then swinging into it, I think is really, really strong. So I think that card is amazing. And she's a 2K counter, which is really, really good. And here we go got a yeah okay so each pack comes with like a silver foil kind of card and the silver foil cards are still pretty shiny they're not shiny like the srs they're not shiny like the alternate arts but like this beppo right here that beppo looks pretty good that's a pretty shiny beppo when you hold it at the right angle you can see the shiny parallel foil i think i really like the parallel foils in this set i think they did a really really great job i mean i haven't seen them in person but seeing them through a screen that's a little more high quality i think they look pretty 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 nice if you do know what i'm talking about i would love to have a deck full of shiny cards and i think they did it in a really nice way because it's not so shiny that it's hard to read the text it's just shiny enough that it looks really cool in a parallel foil with the art. This Usopp's amazing also. 2K counter and Dawn X1 when your opponent activates an event card on your turn, you draw. That's so good. Especially in the law deck where you need to get a bunch of bodies on board and you can just bounce them back and get the 2K counter back in your hand. I think that's really, really strong. I don't know if I'm sold on multicolor leaders yet. Yo, check out Jack. This man, this man does not skip chest day. Chest day has never been something that he has missed in the entirety of his entire whole life. He does all of his chest homework. That's a rare. So I guess the rares get these, get these parallel foils. I don't think there's parallel foils of the commons and uncommons i'm pretty sure it's just rare so i don't know if you can fully bling a deck out but the art just looks so awesome i want to look at all this art all the time i think this game looks fantastic and what we got here yo okay this is the crocodile sr the crocodile sr the crocodile alt art is sick also so i don't i think when this guy's pulling them he doesn't know exactly what he's pulling it took him a second when i was listening but uh i've studied these cards i'm very excited for them and it's nice to see them getting shrimped because i am very excited to sh shrip them myself so make sure to smush that sub button to check it out when it happens hit that little ding dong bell so you get a reminder when i do my live stream because i might be doing some giveaways during that as well i got some pirate treasure that i made i don't know if you guys have seen this pirate treasure but here's some pirate treasure made by me and yo that drake is pretty cool see how those hollow foil kind of goes around it's like a parallel foil where the character is not foiled but the background is foiled around them i think that looks pretty pretty cool and here we got a that card's nasty that card's really good i'm not a big fan i mean that's not really my style that card is not my favorite i'm not a huge fan of his alt art either but his alternate art leader is i think the coolest alt art leader maybe odin's really close but the doflamingo alt art leader Give me yo shanksu so this is a secret rare. This is the regular art secret rare for the Shanks. And in every case, apparently, you get four secret rares. A secret rare takes an alternate art spot in a box. So if you get a secret rare, that's gonna be the hit in the box. But there's three rarities of Shanks. And this one we've seen, I showed, I saw it on the other stream. And then Yamato also has two rarities. One I saw on the other stream that I posted the other day, but I would love to pull the Yamato alternate art uh, secret rare. That's my, that's my goat pull. But also the super rare Shanks, there's two Shanks. 
So there's the regular shanks here, there's an alternate art shanks, and then there's an alternate alternate art. And the alternate alternate art is basically like a god rare. It's god rare rarity. Very, very low drop rates. It's very hard to pull. And uh, that is the god rare. It wasn't ace. I was wrong. But it's kind of smart that they didn't put ace in wow. this. Wow. Oh, uh, looking really, really good. Because I think ace for next set. I think this game is going to get a lot of people into one piece. And it's, I think, good to have some time to get into the story. And then you'll have a deep appreciation for ace. And in set two, ace is going to drop. And the fire fist will lead us all to victory. Gambateo. Gamba Ray! Mugachan! Gamba Ray! Gamba Ray! That's what I'm talking about, Mugachan. All right, what, there's some other pretty hot cards that he pulls here, like uh, this card looks pretty good. The alternate art of that is cool also. King's got some pretty fly hair, if you, if you know what I mean. So there's two other really hot pulls that this guy made. I cut a lot of this stuff out, so you know it wasn't just going over the same cards over and over and all the, you know, I just tried to pull some of the heat so you guys can see it because this is definitely better quality than the one I posted the other day you can actually see kind of what the cards look like but when I post this you know it's gonna be in 4k super high quality I'm gonna show you all that texture every little bit of every little part of texture is going to be displayed to great detail here on the Joku Shoku so make sure to check it out and the law SR. I think the law alternate art or whatever the rarity is going to be called is probably one of the top five. I don't know. There's some really, 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 really good alternate arts. I do like the Luffy SR. I think I like it better than the alternate art. The art is cool, but the Luffy alternate art looks a lot like Deku, but uh, I'd be down to like just call that card Deku and play it because I think it's a good card. Mihawk. I like the Mihawk SR a lot better than the Mihawk alternate art. Call me crazy. I don't know. I don't know if that's a crazy opinion, but that's my take i like that art a lot i think it's very cool jack definitely the alternate art on jack is supreme superior superior to the uh sr the sr just looks like a or i think wait is jack just a rare oh hey dofi not looking not lo looking a little slim there pal um what do we got here pulling car i think that card's actually all right Oh yeah, kid. Kid uh kid alternate art is really really sick also. Uh, but I do like the I like I like how they're changing the different styles of art on the different cards. I think that's a really good idea and I think that the original style for this game that they're doing looks very 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 cool. So I'm glad they came up with something for that. One of these packs he does pull some pretty cool stuff, and I tried to just kind of crop those areas. So you don't yes, get yes, Oh, <laughs> Yamato! That is the regular alt, or not the alt art Yamato, the regular art Yamato. So in every case, you're gonna get four secret rares. It's probably gonna be like two Shanks, two Yamato, maybe more of that spread, but the alternate art, you have a chance at getting one of the alternate arts for those secret rares. And then in every box, you either get an alternate art or a secret rare. So you'll either get a leader alt art, or you'll get a SR alt art, or you'll get a secret rare, or you'll get a secret rare alt art, which will be the hot thing to pull. I'm going to do my darndest to pull one of those. I really hope that I do, and I hope we can all check it out here on the Shrippum Paradise. All right, so that's his secret rare. I think that Yamato looks really, really cool. I mean, I, I want to have both Yamatos, but the, the alt art Yamato is, I think, the coolest card that's ever been printed in the history of mankind. So hopefully on Monday it would be very cool. Or at least in the video or something. This is the last pack here. Perona. Nice. Oh, yeah. Alt art Kaido. So this is another box. I just pulled this series out of box so you guys can see. I think like after a second he realizes it's an alt art and he's like, oh, sick nasty. Sick nasty alt art. Yatta. This guy's actually really funny listening to him. It's in a Singapore. Uh, this is in a Singapore buy sell trade group where, oh, there's the Kinemon. I don't think he knew that that was the alt art. He just kind of blew pie it. But that was the Kinemon alt art. It most definitely was. And Zoro SR. I think Zoro SR looks really cool as well. Here's one of the box toppers. So every box gets a box topper with a card in it. That's kind of like the art is expanded on the box topper. So it's it has like a hollow foil as well. More like a silver foil, I think. Like a pair or um, reverse hollow foil kind of thing. With more like silver foiling style on there. And I think you get one in every box. Yeah, looks really good. I think these look fantastic. I'm very excited to pull these cards. All these cards. I want to strip them all. Gotta strip them all. Especially gotta strip them. That card is really cool. That's the Luffy SR. I think that art is great. I love how his fist is punching kind of like past the side of the card. I think frame breaks on these are very, very cool. And I like how they're making the decision to really make the cards kind of look like they're popping out of the cards and coming at you to come hang out and deliver a strike. Plus 2k. Plus don't don't. When you all don't up and nowhere to go, you slam that boy full of don and get 
da da ikuzo haiku uh there should be something oh there's jack jack alt art jack alt art definitely better than the jack other art jack alt art oh so there are rare alt arts yeah i guess they are i thought i thought so i didn't think there was a jack sr every character kind of there's no no characters have more than one card within the set which i think is kind of cool you know and i feel like i should have figured that out that the yamato would be that oh here it is here oh, oh yo my oh my god though i want to pull one of those so bad that's the god rare that is the rarest card in the set it's the alternate alternate art shanks and it has a very low pull rate i'm estimating it to be something like one in six cases based on the no. line i have a little bit of information from some pictures posted by orange d samurai which there was some information about how many cases were open there but we're still unsure what the numbers are exactly but it looks like you have maybe a one in six or one in eight chance of getting this in a case and the yamato alt art is a one in four and the other one of these is more like a one in three for the alternate the other alternate shanks art but yeah, Dragon Balls. very very cool that is going to be a grail from this game and definitely something you want to hold on to in your collection and grade if you can uh i think that's a very very worthwhile card to invest in and keep in as good condition as you can i wouldn't buy it right off the bat i would wait a little bit the price is going to settle people are going crazy right now spending a lot on these cards so don't jump to buy any of these cards right now wait a couple weeks the prices will come down and then find one when you think the time is right and scoop one because this is going to be a high value collectible for the one piece card game in all card games really i think this is a uh, legendary card right here and i wanted there to be a god rare remember that video where i was like i think there should be a god rare and then we kind of got a god rare anyway so that's pretty much the opening i wanted to show you guys i think these cards look really really great i'm glad i was able to get some in like a little better hd quality but i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip your teeth are crystals well your teeth have crystals in them the crystals in your teeth are called hydroxyapatite which means your teeth are treasure and you should treasure your teeth and take care of them because shiny valuable stuff is treasure like your teeth and so are trading cards they're shiny and valuable like like this alternate art shanks which you should treasure as well so don't forget to brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes get yourself a power brush sonic care 4700 and floss the heck out of all those spaces between i recommend a listerine ultra clean flosser so you can spend a while just hanging out with it on the couch like a toothpick and get those spaces really nicely between your teeth if you have any questions ask me in the comments below thank you so much and we'll have a case to open on monday <laughs>